guys what's going on and welcome to my channel so today's video has been requested by novel and girl you wanted me to test out the swiss beauty's real makeup base which is a highlighting primer now i have picked it up in the shade n02 which is golden tint now just to add a little bit of spice to it i am going to be comparing it along with the swiss beauty pearl illuminator makeup base now this however is in the shade golden pink which is 01 now to be honest i never had any intention of doing like a comparison video that's why this has like a pinky undertone and this one has a golden undertone but then since these are super affordable i was like why not so in today's video we are going to see how these last throughout the day on my oily greasy ass skin now before we can get into all the good stuff do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you're notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video So first let's talk about the packaging for the real makeup base now this comes in a transparent glass bottle and it is quite heavy and i don't see this as quite travel friendly because it could break and also we are not traveling right now because we are in a global pandemic so please do not travel and be safe now the good thing is that the cap the silver cap it is airtight and it has a black pump on it which is good the real makeup base it comes in two variant and is priced at 349 rupees for 30 ml of product now coming to the pearl illuminator makeup base it is extremely light because it comes in this squeezy tube now the packaging i really like it because it has a silver and copper ombre effect and it has a, this rose gold kind of a cap and it has a nozzle as well and lastly the pearl illuminator it again comes in two variant and this is priced at 249 rupees for 35 ml of product so i have a super zoomed you guys in first things first please do not mind my dried up crusty lips i do not know what's wrong with it it is moisturized but i don't know so we're just gonna leave and ignore that but this is how my skin looks all i have done is applied a moisturizer about like half an hour back uh, i'm just gonna be using my fingers to apply it because that's how i usually apply my primer and uh, i'm gonna go with the pearl illuminator on this side first i'm gonna take it at the back of my hand first thing okay so there we go fragrance is too strong too too strong for my personal liking three generous drops of the pearl illuminator and this is without anything and this is with the pearl illuminator i can see a bit of a pinky glow when i'm looking like in the mirror in front of me uh, i don't know if that's capturing on camera now the first thing that i noticed is that this absorbs into the skin right away which is a good thing especially if you have oily skin like mine and uh, it has given a nice subtle glow which is nice and uh, yeah okay so i wiped my hands clean uh my fingers as well and now for the real makeup base the same way where one pump itself gives a lot and it's quite thick kind of a formula So right off the bat, you need very little for this particular primer because there's so much that is left over and a little goes a long way with this one and I can see a nice glow on the skin and uh, like I can literally see the difference in the line like there's a golden glow here and there's a very subtle pinky glow but this one i'm saying is just on its own uh, we're yet to go through with the foundation and then see how it looks also the time right now is 5 55 pm so just fii on that so for foundation i'm going to be using my trusty good old maybelline superstay foundation this is in the shade 310 sun beige now just going again with one pump I'm going to go over with this side first because I don't want any uh, glitter or shimmer from this side to transfer to this side. Okay, so this side has been applied and it looks good. It has given a very, very subtle glow, which I kind of like it. 
And now moving on to this side. Okay, so both the sides are done and when I compare it side by side, the real makeup base is much more glowy than the pearl illuminator because this itself is a full coverage matte foundation and if I smile, you can see the shininess more on this side than this side. Do you guys see that? Hmm? Hmm? But I look like that puppet from which movie? Saw? I forgot. Is it Saw? I think so. But you know that puppet with the thing hmm? that's how I look like right now but yeah okay I can't see any glitter or shimmer particles do you guys see any I'm looking at the mirror in front of me and I do not see it so I'll apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back Okay, so my full face of makeup is done and I will be listing all of them in the description box below if you're interested, check them out. But I have made sure that I stuck to all matte kind of a finish. Even the blush and everything is like a matte finish. There's no shimmer at all. However, I do see a bit of glow on this side and it's a very very subtle glow on this side, especially when I smile. This is a bit more shiny than this side. Now the last thing that I want to test out is use them as a highlighter. So I'll go with this one first, the pearl one. Uh, I'm just going to add a drop like that is it. Just a teeny tiny amount of it. Use my clean ring finger. So it is given a very nice subtle glow from within kind of a thing and what I also like is that it did not move the foundation or anything so that is good and let me clean up my finger and go with this side and use the real makeup base as a highlighter as well. Now I know that these do not particularly specify that you can use it as a highlighter especially this one uh, but just for shits and giggles I want to try that out so uh, on a clean base just small little squirt of it and again with my clean ring finger i'm just gonna take okay this is a lot this is all okay so i'm not gonna go over any more with this one because it's given that glow which is fine so after unzooming you guys, you can clearly see that this side is much more glowy. But in this side, it's more of a subtle glow from within kind of a look. And uh, yeah, this is how both the sides are looking like right now. And I will see you guys in a couple of hours once my oil have come through. And I am back right now and it is a little over three hours and also please excuse the background noise my parents are watching Big Boss so it will be a bit noisy uh, and the time right now is about 9.05 p.m. And uh, this is how oily my skin is looking like right now like it is overall oily as you guys can see but this side is a little extra oily than this side now like I mentioned at that time itself this side which had the pearl illuminator that one had like a light moisturizing property wherein this one where it had the real makeup base that is a little extra moisturizing so if you have like dry skin you will love this one but then if you have oily skin this one is a better choice so yeah so i'm just gonna wait for another an hour or two maybe and then uh, after that i will give my final thoughts Hello and welcome to the last and final check-in. So the time right now is 12.08 a.m. So it has been a little over six hours since I last applied the primer and this is how oily my skin is looking like right now. Let me zoom you guys in and quickly blot away the oiliness because it feels very heavy on my skin. So as you guys can see, overall my face is oily. But then this side is a teeny tiny bit less oilier than this side. So this is the pearl illuminator and this side is the uh, real makeup base. Full blotting shape. So each of them took one blotting sheet each like one side one blotting shade the other one that's quite a lot of oil 
and this is how my skin is looking like right now after removing all the excess oil which is so much more better so let's compare both the products and first we will go with the real makeup base now this one texture wise it is quite heavy and by heavy i don't mean like in a bad way but more like very creamy so if you have like dry skin you will really like this and even if you have like normal skin i think this will be good i cannot confirm it because i don't have normal skin but for dry skin i can be sure that you will actually like this one because it is very moisturizing wherein on the other hand the pearl illuminator is not like a gel consistency at all it's more like a light moisturizer it's not as creamy as this one but then this does moisturize but not as heavy as this one so if you have like uh, any skin type you will actually like it but I would suggest this is for oily skin or combination skin type now for the application I don't think this is like a standalone product like you have to use another product over it like a foundation or a BB cream because this on its own once the light reflects in a certain way it will show that gold speck that it has and if you're like gonna be like in sunlight or if there's like flash photography or if it's any harsh lighting any wedding of that sort this will look like a disco ball on your face so i would suggest that if you're going to use this then you better lay it up with a bb cream or probably like a foundation or something with a light coverage or full coverage as such wherein the pearl illuminator on the other hand you can use this as a standalone product because it gave a nice glow it did not have any shimmer or glitter particles it just gave a nice glow which looks like a glow from within now this kind of reminded me of the mac strobe cream in pink light now i do not own it but i have seen it being applied on one of my friend during her engagement so I feel this is quite similar to it I do not know how they compare with each other but I feel it's quite similar to that where it gives a very slight hint of a pinkish glow on your face and the other thing which I almost forgot to mention is that the real makeup base it kind of claims to modify pores which I don't see that much of a difference not really see much of a difference with this one so I don't feel like this one does not claim it but I'm just mentioning it but uh, with this one it specifies but I don't see any difference and also is the fragrance I almost forgot to mention that now the fragrance it is very strong in both of them especially especially this one this is so strong when it comes to the smell part of it wherein this one also has a very strong smell but not as strong as this one now they both kind of smell i don't know where i cannot pinpoint exactly what it is but i think i think it is very similar to fair and lovely or glow and lovely or whatever that's called now so it is very similar to that smell but just a bit more stronger and uh, this that's the only drawback for me is the smell it is too strong for my nose oh and also to use it as a highlighter this one you can use it as a highlighter wherein this one i would not suggest as a highlighter like i said it has that shimmery speck to it so i would not suggest this one and it's a bit more heavy to use it as a highlighter i know this one does not claim it but i'm just saying this is not a better option now coming to the packaging the real makeup base it is made of a very heavy glass bottle so it is quite heavy on its own and also it's not travel friendly and if you do drop it if you're a clumsy person then this is prone to breakage uh, but I do like the fact that this will still look good on the vanity like for the price point it doesn't look cheap or anything and also it's transparent so you can actually see how much of product is remaining and it has a pump as well which is a good feature and on the other hand the pearl illuminator it comes in this squeezy kind of a tube which has a nozzle which is hygienic as well and you can control how much of a product that you need and it is very light in comparison and it is very travel friendly as well the only thing is that you cannot see how much of product is remaining but that's kind of okay now next is the quantity now even though this is very heavy when you hold it but this has only 30 ml of product on the other hand this one which is very light when you hold it it has 35 ml of product which has like 5 ml more so awesome and lastly is the price point where the real makeup base is priced at 350 rupees for 30 ml of product wherein the pearl illuminator this is priced at 250 rupees for 35 ml of product so you get like more product less price less product more price yeah now overall they both made my skin oily it was like a cutoff of like two and a half to three hours that i started becoming super oily uh, which is quite low in my opinion when it comes to that so if you're going to use any of them i would highly suggest you use even a setting spray which will actually 
uh, help with the longevity of your foundation and your makeup but if i have to choose between both of them it will be the pearly illuminator because like i said it's kind of a multitasking kind of a tool where i can use it on its own i can use it as a primer i can use it as a highlighter i could even mix it with my foundation and give a nice glow to my skin so i hands down prefer this one and uh, yeah that is my overall thoughts about both the primers from swiss beauty so yeah these were my thoughts about the swiss beauty primers and this wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it's so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's a on instagram and it's a on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye